Hi, good evening everyone. So sorry about the slight delay. There was a slight technical issue. Um, so yeah, welcome to day three of um, A Life Connects um, of our Ultra event powered by A Life Group. So today we've got a champion in the house and he's none other than Andy Tay. So Andy, he's an actor, he's a mixed martial artist and also the CEO of Elite MMA Fitness Academy. Not only that, but he is also a five-time jiu-jitsu champion, a seven-time striking champ. So it is definitely a treat to have him here on today. Um, so he'll be going over a 45-minute um, MMA heat workout session with all of you. Um, and also hosting this session, we've got ourselves a fellow mixed martial artist himself, um, Peter Hugh Davies. So I shall leave all of you guys in their very good hands. Let me just bring them on. Hey guys. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? You good? I'm good. How are you doing, Peter? Not too bad, Andy. You good? You are ready to do the hip workout? Yeah, boy. Where anytime. Are you now? I'm ready anytime. You look like you're in the gym. Where are you? Yeah, I am in the gym. Uh, right now, I'm in the Elite MMA. Yeah, this is my headquarter. So, just now okay. I have something on over here. So, that's why I start off this life over here in, uh, in the gym. Yeah. What, what, what are you doing in the gym now? Um, what you doing? Uh, okay, basically, basically I have like a minor reconstruction of the gym. So just, I just came over here to uh, have a look and everything. And then, uh, yeah, I think it might be a good place to go live right now. You know, as you can see, like a virtual background, but it's actually a real one. <laughs> <laughs> it looks legit. Yes, it is real. It is real. Okay, virtual uh, background. Yeah. yeah, it's a green screen background. Yeah. What are we going to be doing today? What, what what's the plan so basically uh myself me and he, peter okay for those everybody uh watching right now me and peter davis practice martial arts mixed martial arts mma but what i'm going to do today is I, i'm going to incorporate mma movements into hiit uh workouts so what we're going to do hiit stands for high intensity interval training all right so what we're going to do is uh, i'm going to use like a tabata timer where we're going to work for 20 seconds and you rest 10 seconds and we have about several sets to go and all the movements are only based on your body weight so no equipment required guys you don't need a stand back or you don't need a, a big stage down to train at home all right just have your yoga mats the water a towel and yourself and you are ready to go guys awesome sounds good sounds good so how long will the hiit training last for all right, uh, the whole uh, whole program going to be about 45 minutes. Okay, so basically we're going to hit about at least five sets, five to six sets today. Yeah. Okay, five to six sets. I'm not sure I'm ready. I'm still uh, in MCO mode. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not sure um, if anyone out there watching uh, needs to take a break or we need to slow it down a bit. Just message us in the chat uh, and we'll... Uh, basically address the issue if there is anything and um with that all being said and done i think andy it's uh, time for you to take it all away right. cool now just uh talking about this resting uh peter just uh, brought up a very good question so what we're going to do is every two sets okay every two sets will take a break for two minutes so for these two minutes you can actually get yourself a good rest and also uh what you can do is you can drop us comment all right if you have any question for me or peter can drop in the comment box below and then we'll be very happy to answer as many questions as possible all right okay let's go let's do it are you ready peter oops it's not there but i know peter is always ever ready okay guys all right what you need is just a yoga mat if you don't have yoga mats at home it's perfectly fine okay just make sure you're on a proper ground all right which is like a proper one and then if you can have a Water bottle and also a towel will be good for you because in between the rest and everything, you can take a quick break. You don't have to run to your kitchen to get your water. All right. Now, guys, let's start off with our uh, stretching section. All right. So just swing on forward. Okay, just swing on forward this way. Make sure it's a full rotation. Relax your shoulder. Just move. Three, two, one. And backwards. All right. Rotate backwards. Let's go. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, now I want you guys to interlace your fingers like that. Okay, and then give yourself a good stretch up this way. 
Make sure your heel is up, lengthen your spine and stretch all the way up. Stay there for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay now, slightly open up your feet, all right? Slightly open up your feet, slightly wider than your shoulder. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stretch forward, push your butt behind or glute behind, stretch forward. Lengthen the spine again, you feet up. Stay there for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Very nice. Now one more time, you're going to go all the way down to the floor. Stretch all the way down. All right, stay there. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right. Okay, now back to your shoulder level. Stretch your shoulder. Okay, make sure you feel the stretch on your tricep, your back. All right. Get it. One, and three, two, one. All right. Change side. Get side. Let's go. Three, two, one. Relax. Okay, now I want you guys to play the back. And place and stretch down the face, all right? So you feel a stretch here. All right, stay there for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now change the other hand, same thing. Stretch it up, stay there for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, now move to your feet. Okay, now rotate. Slightly open up, not too small or not too wide, just slight open, same. Uh, width of your shoulder. Big rotation. And relax, change the other side. Now guys, always remember, okay, stretching is very, very important. Okay, relax. Okay, now bend to your side, you call it the side bend. Okay, stretching is very, very important before your exercise and after exercise, that's a cool down stretching as well. It's equally important, guys. All right. Decrease the percentage of injuries, uh, so make sure you guys have to do a proper stretching. All right, change. Now the stretching that I'm doing is like basically just uh, not much of movements because like those kind of let's say for example uh, when you're doing this, this is called a ballistic stretching. When you do ballistic stretching, uh, my advice is to do it on your cool down session, but not now. All right, because now you need to get ready of your muscles. All right, last one. Stretch it up. Make sure you feel a good stretch on your body set. Chest up and look up. Stay there for five, four, three, two, one. And change side, change leg. Do the stretch again. Stay there for five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay, now last one. Open up slightly wider. Place your fingers or your hand on your knee level and drop your shoulder. Feel the stretch on your lower back. Eh? See my leg, eh, guys. See my leg. Don't turn like that. From here, you just grab a shoulder and stretch. So you feel the stretch all the way. You feel the stretch, right? On your lower back. Three, two, one. Now change the side. Do that again. Three, two, one. And relax. Very nice. Okay. Good. All right, guys, are you ready? How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are ready. Now we're going to start with our warm up. All right, just warm up. All right. So I have a timer over here. You just go according to my timer. All right. So it's very simple. Now, the, the whole thing is like that. I'm going to run the workout 20 seconds each, and you have 10 second break in between. 20 second work, 10 second rest. Then back to 20 second work again. So the whole entire thing is eight rounds. So you just go on with me. If you can hear the beep sound over here, later you can hear the sound beep, then you stop. All right? So I'll do along with you. Now, the first thing very simple. Number one, just do jumping jacks. You don't have to count. Do as many times as possible in 20 seconds. There's a warm up. All right? So once beep, then you stop. Relax. 10 seconds. Then you move on to our next round. Next round will be jab cross and move your feet like that. Do as many times as possible in same thing, 20 seconds, all right? Now, after the first round, you understand how it can go. Okay, guys, get ready. You start in 10 seconds. Jumping jets, huh? Let's go. Jumping jets. As many times as possible, don't have to count. You have 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, relax. Now you have 
with 10 seconds to round number two. Get cross. Ready? Let's go. Get cross. Okay, make sure you just throw your hand. Don't have to punch powerful. Just relax and move your feet like that. Okay? Let's go. Very good. Five more seconds to go. Three, two, one. Time. Good. Now, round number three. We have eight rounds now. Round number three. Back to the first one. Jumping jacks. Ready? Let's go. Jumping jacks. Very nice. All right, you have 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good. Now, round four. Back to jab cross. Ready? All right, three seconds. Let's go. Jab cross. And again, I'm going to repeat. You don't have to punch very hard. Just relax. Move your feet and keep breathing while you're doing this exercise. Alright, let's go. We have about five more seconds. Down the clock. And time. Good. Now, you're halfway through. Round five. Round five. Jumping jets. Ready? Let's go. Good, good, good. Get up. 10 more seconds, guys. Come on, 10 more seconds. This is only your warm up. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Good. Now, round 6. Round 6. Ready? Check cross. Same thing. Let's go. Move up in and check cross. Jump, jump. Get up. All right, you have 10 more seconds down the line. Go, go, go. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good. All right, guys, last two rounds, okay? Last two rounds to complete set number one. Ready? Let's go. Jumping jets again. Good, good, good. Keep it up. Remember when you're doing this, try to breathe, okay? 10 more seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. All right, guys. Last round, guys. Last round. Last round. Ready? Jet cross. Ready? Let's go. Jet cross. Good, good, good. Keep it up. Remember, this is a warm up. The whole set huh, is 20 seconds, and the total timing will be 4 minutes in total. Alright? 5 seconds left. 3, 2, 1, time. Alright. So, guys, that simple. This is your ending of the first round. Alright? So, obviously, I'm going to use the same kind of timing or methods, but I'll give you different kind of exercises, but this kind of timing. Alright? So, you now get an idea, right? Okay, let's hit it. Now, obviously, before that, before we move to the second one, you'll go down to the floor and you're going to do plank hold, okay? This is called planking. Huh? You're going to plank there. You're going to stay there for one minute. All right? You're going to stay there for one minute. Ready? Start in 10 seconds. All right, five, four, three. Let's go. Stay plank. Remember doing your plank. Don't pack up your butt. Okay, make sure it's flat down to the floor. Engage your core, engage your lower back. Okay? Same thing goes to engage one of your hamstring and also your quadricep, okay? Alright, just stay there. Try to free. You have 40 seconds left. 40 seconds left. Ready? Stay, stay, 30 seconds. Good, good, don't give up guys, come on. Strong. Let's go. Alright, 20 more seconds. Stay. Don't 
drop, y'all. Back, let's go. Yeah, make sure it's engaged. Your core must engage. Don't drop like that. Engage it up. All right, here's 10 more seconds. Stay there, guys. Come on. Look at your own fingernail. Check. <laughs> and time. Good. Relax. Nice work, guys. All right. Good, good, good. Okay, that's the end of our first set. Now we're going to move into the second set. After the second set, we'll take a break, all right? Now, let's go. I saw some question over there, but I'll answer you later, okay? All right, now, second set, yeah? What you're going to do on the second set is this. You're going to start out with stance, boxing stance position. So those who are at home, if you don't have any martial arts background, don't worry. You just try to follow me, okay? Left leg in front, right leg behind, and on a boxing stance. Boxing stance means your hand got up this way, close your chin, okay, and then stay close to your body this way. Now, obviously today I'm not going to focus so much on the technique, but it's more on the fun of the exercise. So you just do a boxing stance. What you need to do is jab, cross. You're going to go down the floor, throw a leg back, and come back in. This one, pop, pop, down, up. Bam, bam, down, up. Okay, so you keep repeating this as many times as possible in 20 seconds. All right? Now, number two, we'll be in a Muay Thai knee. Muay Thai, knee strike. Now, um, for those people that do it normally, it's just like that. This is called a knee raise. But when it comes to Muay Thai strike, you slightly bend your back, your body backwards, and you extend the strike in front. Okay? But it's fine. Try to do your best. Even if you cannot do this, no worries. Okay, so number one, I repeat again. Round one, jab, cross. We can call it sprawl. One, two, sprawl. Come back up. One, two, sprawl. Come back up. As many times as possible. 20 seconds. Round number two, knee strike. Okay? All right, I hope you got it. Now we're going to start set number two. Get ready, guys. That's my time. Okay. All right. Ready? Start in 10 seconds. <clears throat> Five. Let's go. Check. Cross. Cross. Back up. One, two. And change side, no worries. Let's go. Time. Good. All right. Number two, knee strike. Ready. Hands up. Let's go. See my front wheel? 45 degree wheel. You turn to the other side. Turn to the other side. See? So at the same time, you work on the core as well. Let's go. All right. All right. Round three. Back to one. Ready. Hands up. <clears throat> Let's go. One, two. Let's go. Seven more seconds. And time. All right. Round four. Back to your knees. Back to your knees. Ready? Let's go. If you cannot, you just do your knee, knee raise. Perfectly fine. Okay? If you can, strike it out. Sweet. Turn your body. Like a Russian twist, standing Russian twist. Time! Good. Round five. Round five. Ready? Hands up. <clears throat> Let's go. Jab, cross. Draw. Bum, bum. Draw. Bum, bum. Draw. If you can go faster, you can go on your own speed. If you want to slow it down, no worries, on your own timing, okay? 
time. Good. Round six. Knees. All right. Ready. Let's go. Go, go, go. Keep going. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, guys, last two rounds, last two rounds, we can do it. Let's go. Last two. All right, then cross, crawl. Go. Crawl, and back up. One, two. One, two. And time. All right, guys, last one. Before I take a break, ready? <clears throat> Knee strike. Last 15 seconds. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two. One and time. Good. All right. Okay, guys. We're gonna do a plank hold. Ah, maybe. Oh, you, you beautiful. Oh, it? I'm good. good. Got a bit of a stretch on. It's good work. Good workout. So you got a, a plank hold. We're gonna do a plank hold, are we? Yeah, we're gonna uh, do a plank actually. Uh, before we take a break. So we just do right. the second. I'll do a quick one. It's only thirty seconds. Okay. Good. 30 All seconds right. is good. Let's do it. 30 seconds, then you will take a break. Okay. All right, guys, get ready. Down to the floor. Okay, for those who are home, if you think the flooring is too harsh for you to do your planking, right, what you can do is you can get a cloth like that. Simple cloth, okay? Just fold it up to a smaller piece like that. So it became a cushion for you when you place your elbow. You can do this, you can try this. If thinking is too painful for your elbow, okay? All right, guys, ready? Start in 10 seconds. Two, one, let's go up. All right, stay there for 30 seconds only. Drop, drop. Up, up, up. 20 seconds left. Very good. All right, 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right, good job. Okay, guys. All right, now we're going to set a timer. We're going to have a break for two minutes, okay? And we'll okay. Be back. All right, guys. How is it? Oh, guys! If you have any question, you can drop in the comments box below, so me and uh, Peter can try to assist you on your answer. Yeah, your question. How have things been going for you? Uh, okay. Good, good. How, uh, cool. Yep. And uh, Forrest uh, Vince Chan says, uh, "How do you manage your fitness during the COVID nineteen outbreak?" How, yes. How are you working? What are you up to? Yeah, hi, Forrest. Uh, Vince. Okay, so what happened is uh, obviously we cannot operate a gym. And I do believe that gym it will be the very last business that the government will allow us to, to start running. So what happened is like I had to pivot my whole plan to online platform. So the best, um, the thing that I'm doing right now, it's, uh, it's called Elites to You. All right, it's an online platform where I gather all the instructors from across Asia. So we have multiple instructors, okay, under this platform. Uh, the classes is not only MMA, it's not only mixed martial arts, boxing, and Muay Thai, etc. I added the value of uh, we have yoga class, uh, Zumba, Conga dance, Capoeira, and many more other martial arts. So, and also uh, lifestyle, okay, fitness lifestyle. So it's quite fun. If you guys want uh, interested to know more, you can uh, probably PM uh, a live, a live group, and we get a contact on something like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I hope I answered your questions. Uh, Wins. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And well, for me, I'm just uh, I'm an avid cyclist, so you know, I'm I'm pretty glad that uh, uh, they've allowed cycling and running right now because cycling and running because I'm a cardio based athlete. They're, yeah. they're what I really enjoy doing. So, um, yeah, now I can uh, frolic around uh, my area. I'm trying not to go to my usual haunts for cycling, but um, it's eventually going to happen. And, uh, yeah. But I have a question here. I saw you the other day when you're doing cycling, you're putting on the face mask. What kind of Horrible. feeling like, you know, when you cycle and it's having difficulty to breathe, at the same time, you have the face mask to cover up you. How do you how, how um, do you do that? How do you Casual cycling no problem with the face mask on um i started putting in some uh some pedal strokes got some speed up and uh i started the the mask is is a legit mask and it all my respiratory moisture got caught up and uh i started to drown on my own breath if you like and from sweat as well um yeah it, it for a casual ride down to the shops it'll be fine. But if you're going hardcore, you can't wear a mask. Yeah, exactly. And uh, social distancing, yeah, just stay away from the other people. Don't draft people. Um, but you know that you know, like cycling is one of the very first spot that the government approved, like, mm. in the early stage, right? The thing is, I'm not really, I don't really cycle with other people that often. Um, so if I cycle, I just cycle by myself. If I go running, I just go running by myself. And that's always been the way. Um, so, yeah, it's just me, maybe some music if I'm running, and uh, find a hill, go run up it. So by myself is, is the way I've always done it. So, yes, it's good. If it's in a group, not such a big group would be better, or just two people maybe, or just by yourself. Just do it, yeah. do it by yourself. It would be good. Mm-hmm. All right. At least, at least right. there's something to go on now. That's pretty cool. I still haven't get my bike for myself. Almost did, really? but I haven't get it. <laughs> I've been talking about this for yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> you were close, but then you were busy. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to go back to our workout. And then uh, we have like the last 15 minutes later for Q&A. So probably we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, having a good timing for you guys to ask us more questions. Yep. So now let's back on to our third set of today. All right. Okay. Okay. I forgot to turn on the music now. Okay, guys. So what are you going to do on this round? So what are you going to do on this round is this. I'm going to show you the movement. All right. You're going to stand on the floor. Okay. Those who have yoga mats are bad, but if you don't have... It's fine, but make sure you wear some cloth, uh, some shirt up first. If you are just shirtless and you lie on the floor, you'll be a bit yucky, you know. All right, now, this one is this. You're going to lie on the floor. Make sure you curl up or your knees are this way. All right, now I want you to do this. You're going to come up to a sit-up position. Place your hand on the floor and just push up this way. Now, up, place your hand on the floor, keep up. Sit up. Sit up. Place your hand on the floor. Now, very simple. Uh, I lower down the music. Very simple. If you don't get confused, when you come up to my right now, my on my right side. When I come on my right, place my right hand on the floor. Right hand on the floor means right feet up. Right hand floor, right feet up. Now, sit up. Left hand on the floor, left feet up. Okay, just keep remember this. So you're gonna do up, boom. Up, boom. Up, boom. Okay? This is, uh, we use this in uh, anime where they do this professional setup. Go back to the fighting sun. But <coughs> now you're going to do only a curl. So you just move halfway here and you stop. Stop. Okay? This will be the number one. Number two. This is, we use it in Jiu Jitsu. We call it the triangle choke. See my leg? Alright, you come up, you do this. Down, up, down, up, down. When you go down, restrain your feet from touching the floor. So what happens if you engage your lower core? The lower core muscles. It's the same exercise as double leg drop. Exactly the same. It's just that you apply the technique. Down, up, 
So, all right? So I want you to try these two ways. Okay? All right, guys. Let's start. As same thing, huh? 20 seconds, as many times as possible, okay? Okay, get ready. Start in 10 seconds. First one. Next up is three. Three. Let's go. Sit up. I'm going to flow up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Okay? Down. This one you're going to work on your core exercise and also your tricep and your shoulder. Fine. Good. Now, the next one, triangle choke to a double drop. Ready? Let's go. Choke. Down. Choke. Down. If you are not comfortable with this, you can place your whole hand on the floor. So you got more stability. Okay, your house is stability now. But if you can go with your hand, it will be better. Come down, your feet don't touch the floor. Alright, number three, round three, back to one. Ready? Let's go. Up. Down. Up. Down. Push it up. Good. Let's go now. Come on. Alright, and time. Good. Now back to round four. Round four will be the triangle choke again. Ready? Two. One. Let's go. Up. Drop to the floor. Up. Drop to the floor. Try not to touch the floor, yeah? So you're going to work on your lower back again. Okay? Sorry, your lower abs. Remember that you'll feel the, you'll feel the, con the concentration of the engagement is over there. Time. All right. Round five. Round five. Ready? Let's go. Up. Down. Up. Down. From this point of time, you start to feel your core is starting to burn, which is good. Okay, that's the main purpose of it. Very nice. And time. Good. All right, round six. Back to our triangle choke again. Ready? Let's go. Double leg drops. If you can control, it's the best. You can even do with your elbow on the floor. Also can. I can also can. This way is okay. Any way you want. Well, that is quite stable. Okay, if you feel unstable, you can do this one. Alright? Okay, last two rounds, guys. Round seven. Ready? Let's go. Up. Up. Let's go. And time. All right, guys. Last round. Last round. Ready? And good. Drop to the floor. Five more seconds. And time. Woo! All right. Feel the burn, okay? Now. Before we proceed to the next set, I want you to do a cobra stretch to stretch your core. Okay? So you're going to go down the floor, stretch out and look up, relax your hip, just drop, leg drop to the floor, push your shoulder away from your ear, look up. Stay there. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Relax, catch a breath. This one we call it the child pose. One more time. Go down to your cobra stretch here. Look 
का फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन बैक टू अच्छा फोर्स एंड लाइट यस राइट ओके गाइस यू कैन मूव ऑन आई थिंक इट विल बी द लास्ट सेट फॉर टुडे या Of time, okay? So last set for today. Okay. So last set since this is the last set, I'm gonna increase the intensity a little bit. Okay. Let's try our best. Same thing. In 20 seconds, just do as many times as possible in 20 seconds. All right, ready? The first one. Okay. Now, the first one you need to do. We call it the burpees. I believe everybody knows burpees, right? But I want the full the piece means your chest must touch the floor. Okay, so we're gonna do this now. Boom, ah, jump. So once you finish the jump, you're gonna do two knee strike and down again. Ah, and go down again. So two uh, one burpees, two knee strike. Burpees, two knee strike. All right, get it? Okay. The next one. Okay, next time we're gonna work on the leg a little bit, which is round two. You're gonna stand back like that. Go for a forward lunge, and then you come up with a back leg, knee strike. Go back, change leg, lunges, knee strike, back, lunges, knee strike, back. So that come up with one leg, go down, complete your lunges, explode your back leg up to a knee strike. From the ground position, okay. So I hope you guys got it. These two will be the last one. So you're gonna work on your cardio, your upper body and your lower body strength. All right, you ready? Last one, guys. Give all you have. All you have. Give me all you have. All right. Start in twenty seconds. Full burpees, two knee strike. Let's go. Down, one, two. Nice, good. All right, you're gonna move forward. Knee strike. You ready? Go, nine years. Go back. Change leg. Good. Good. Let's go. Time. All right, round three. Two burpees. Two knee strike. Ready. Let's go. So finish it up, guys. I know it's not easy, but try our best. Let's go. Time. Good. Round four. Ready. Let's go. You can exhale out every time you strike. Exhale, then you strike. Time. Good. Last four round. Ready. Let's go. Round six, guys. Last three up. Last three. Let's go. One lunge, one knee.
Three seconds. Woo. All right, guys. Last one. Let's go. Go down, boom. Go down, boom. Last two, two, and time. Good. All right, guys, you're gonna end in minute, one minute, plank hold. That's it. Your last one. Plank hold, stay there for one minute. Okay? That's gonna be our last exercise for today. Ready. One minute. All right, guys. Get ready in 10 seconds. Three. Let's go. Strong and steady, guys. That's your music, guys. I don't know if I can hear that. Guys, they're not too hard, too low. Let's see how they're going to hit me. Knee off the ground, knee off the ground, guys. Come on. Strong. Strong core. Whatever sport you do, core is one of the very important uh, muscle group. Okay? Remember, when you have strong core, you can you are good to do a lot of stuff. All right, 20 seconds, guys. Come on. Strong. Go. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come Woo. All right. Okay, guys. Take a break. We're gonna go back to uh, inviting back our host, you know? Whoa. How was it, bro? That was a good workout, very good. Uh, nice, uh, nice and warm. Got a bit of a sweat on. Nice core, legs, upper body, yeah. full set, good job. Nice workout. Yeah, I mean, I try to... I mean, to be honest, if we train, like, uh, Peter used to fight as well in one championship. So if, if you guys, like, you know, to train as a fighter, 40 minutes is just like a warm-up, okay? And it is warm-up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just warm-up. Just now that intensity, come on, Peter, yours, like, what? Weigh, like, five times heavier. That's well, kind of intensity, so warm -up. just now I, I, did, I, did, I did the workout with you, and I wasn't going full-out intense because of the uh, MCO and my laziness. But, uh, you know, I'll go for a run later or, or do some cycling as well uh, as a bit of a, a bit of a, a wind down sort of fitness uh, exercise. Yeah. But, um, you know, yeah, it is. It's the warm up for a mixed martial arts uh, training session would be uh, pretty much what we just did. And then uh, we get into some technique and uh, do some striking or you have a jiu jitsu class, do jiu jitsu, do some grappling, learn some moves for the older floor, the ground game. So, yeah, yeah it's good. So, I mean, if people went to you to learn that, uh, then uh, they, they'd start to realize the fitness level that you need for, uh, you know, competing in mixed martial arts. So if you need to get up to up to spec, go find Andy down in Clang. Yeah, find him from the A-Life uh, Connects group or uh, find him on his Facebook page or, uh, you know, the Elite for Instagram for sure. Go find them. Good stuff. I'm sweating. Look at this glistening. <laughs> this it's like, ooh, it's pretty crazy. Being outdoor, is it? Cool. No, I'm just, um, I'm just uh, in a, in a Malaysian style apartment, so um, no AC. Let the let the air run through. Yeah, it's nice. Good old. I, I mean, to, to compare working out in a constrained place like a room or something like that, and to do outdoor. I prefer outdoor. We, I really loving it. It's much nicer. I, I generally do my workouts without. Um, so in my Wuji place, we don't have air conditioning on. We have fans, and the amount of sweat 
that you lose in a session is like four kilograms. So, you know, it's really good. But if I do jiu-jitsu and I have air conditioning and I've got my jiu-jitsu gear on, I can also lose four kilograms. So, uh, yeah, I think it just depends on the intensity. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, definitely. Um, what we just did just now with uh, Andy, guys and girls, was a, a really good uh, workout. Um, in fact, if I don't do anything else today, that would be more than enough for me. But I fancy, because I'm allowed to, getting out of my bicycle in the sun. It should be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so for those who like just now i've uh, been wondering like uh why the movements i'm not sure for those who practice martial arts like uh, like peter she practices a lot of martial arts bjj and stuff like that so those kind of movements are quite normal for, for for us but for some people that never ever have any contact in martial arts probably just now the movement will be a little bit uh i'm not sure whether you call it difficult but probably a little bit um Fancy. You need to familiarize. Yeah, the yeah. things like the uh, triangle from the ground. If you go to a class or two, you'd understand it. You'd know what it's for, and it would make sense to do the movement. But if you're just doing it off the bat without knowing what it's for, yeah. it might be a bit confusing. But what it will still do is engage your lower back, your upper back, your neck, um, your hips. It, it gets everything involved, and uh, your coordination shoots up through the roof. Yeah. And uh, if you if you do it do it well, you feel good. And then if you go to martial arts classes, you learn what it's for. Uh, then you do it well, it'll feel good, and it will have a purpose. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Because just now what I did was I tried to incorporate multiple martial arts movements in uh, the whole HIIT. I think Peter knows very well. I have like jiu-jitsu, like Muay Thai and stuff like that. So for you guys, when you all go through all these kind of movements, you eventually hit your entire body muscles. All right, you're going to work on your upper body, lower body, everything. All right, the core as well. All right. Okay. Yeah. Really yeah, good. I, yeah. Well, we've approached the 55 minute mark. I'm going to look and see if there are any other questions. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, Howard, Howard is uh, speaking to you, Andy. He says, What advice would you have for others wanting to take up mixed martial arts type sports? Okay, no. Okay, this is a very good question. I think this is one of the very good questions that I get. Go, go, go to your gym. That's the answer. <laughs> okay, yes, just come to my gym. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah, no. and find out. Yeah. But guys, uh, just to be very straightforward with you, MMA is not any kind of other sports like, uh, you know, like uh, football or badminton or stuff like that. It's a full contact sport, okay? So you guys are actually wrap up yourself, go inside a cage, and then two fists will fight each other. So you're going to get bloody, you know, you're going to get hit. If you don't hit a person, the person going to hit you back, you know. So obviously, yeah. for me, mental is very, very important. How do you prepare yourself mentally? Beside of, aside from physically, your know, mental strength is very important. And then to pick up a very good all-rounder mixed martial artist, you need to practice a lot of different type of martial arts. The three main ones I would say would be like the Muay Thai, because you have very good striking basics. And then you're going to learn, pick up some uh, MMA, uh, I would say, uh, wrestling for a takedown purpose and move on to Jiu-Jitsu, where you're going to perfect your skills on the ground. All right. So these are one of the three main uh, sport, uh, I would say, discipline, martial art discipline that you need to look into to become an all-rounder MMA artist. All right. Yeah. Uh, what I'd say, how it is, you know, mixed martial arts means... Uh, yeah, MMA is, is mixed martial arts. So it, it's a mixture of different pure martial arts so do find a martial art that you enjoy if you like boxing go learn some boxing if you like muay thai go learn muay thai for for myself it's kung fu for andy it's taekwondo you know they, those are our bases and uh, then we moved on from there we learned other martial arts added it together and became mixed martial artists so um yeah yeah, if you want to take up mixed martial arts or MMA, start with a base style that you enjoy. Go have a look. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So, I mean, what classes do they teach at Elite? What what classes do you have at Elite with regards to martial arts? In Elite, um, you mean you mean the online platform or right now in the gym? I mean, like uh, generally in the gym. What what do you usually teach uh, pre-COVID? Oh, pre COVID, okay. You mean myself or the whole entire gym operation? Uh, the whole entire gym operation. What do you offer? All right, so in Elites, we offer multiple kind of martial arts. So basically, we have like uh, the, the, the key or I would say the famous classes would be boxing by Defron. 
So Defron is from Uzbekistan. He's the professional boxer. And uh, for Jiu-Jitsu, yeah. For Jiu-Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I have uh, Professor Pedro Falvo from Brazil. He's a fourth degree black belt. All right, he's teaching Jiu-Jitsu here. And for uh, Muay Thai, we have Wali. Wali is uh, from Brunei, okay? Yeah, it's a uh, strike force, you know, strike force, sorry. What do you call it? Strike champion, yeah. strike oh. champion. Two times belt holder. So he's here teaching Muay Thai from Brunei. And uh, I have a lot of other classes, like kids' classes, even we have adults' classes, and even classes for parents. Parents where I have classes, the kids and the parents, they train together. So like a bonding session thing, kind of thing. So myself, I'm concentrating on like just now what you guys are doing. I call it Elite Speed, where I use all those combination of all the martial arts and I create the strength and conditioning kind of program, which I felt is very, very important to be an MMA fighter. Because if you have like tip top skill, but your cardio or your conditioning is sucks. Oh man, to be <laughs> honest, you cannot go on, man. Even first round, you're out, you know? <laughs> True. <laughs> That's truth right there. Yeah, you yeah. need to balance. Uh, mixed martial arts um, is about balance. It's about devoting uh, half your time to uh, learning martial arts, uh, another half your time to uh, developing your physical fitness. Um, and then there are no more halves left, but you've got to then also fit in your sports science. Uh, yeah. You've got to fit in your nutritional content, uh, where you sleep, uh, you know, how, how you rest up, how you recover, uh, how you get your physio done, stretching, all sorts of stuff. There's so many things yeah, to a becoming a mixed martial artist. So, yeah, it, it, it takes time. So it really, really does. So, okay. Pete, will you go back to competition? Yes. Well, I was hoping just before the lockdown to potentially get onto the April card for one championship. Um, but then as I was uh, about to send the email out, there you go, one, one C. Um, uh, basically, the uh, MCO was um, pulled out by the Malaysian government, uh, rightly so, and uh, no more competitions or sporting events were going to happen in Malaysia. So, yeah, not happening. Let's see what happens after the MCO. Uh, I'm still training, uh, probably at about a 10 or 15% level right now, uh, just because of, when you're in the house, you end up having to do a lot of things in the house. When you go to a gym, you can just focus. Uh, yeah. When you go up for a cycle ride, that's two, three hours of just pure cardio and leg conditioning. So when you're in the house, it's not so easy. And uh, yeah, with, with the uh, CMCO, you can go cycling, but I'm not going to go to Ululang, which was a red zone. It just doesn't seem like a wise thing to do. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, I just did my first outdoor jogging yesterday. Man, it's like so cool. I, like, oh, I saw shit. that. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real air. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I was very envious of people with treadmills in the house, uh, envious of people with uh, bicycle trainers as well. Uh, but now, luckily, we can go out, so we should take advantage of it. But uh, do it safely. Uh, social distancing and, uh, you know, wear a mask if you can, if you're doing a casual cycle. And if you're doing a more hardcore cycle, social distance. Stay away from people. Uh, avoid them. They're the plague, literally. Is there any other cyclists out there? Um, in my hood, in, in Chalas, no. Yeah. There are no other cyclists. <laughs> but um, I've seen people cycling around Putrajaya, some people cycling up to uh, Ulu Langet, Genting Sampa, yeah. the usual yeah. thing. But if you go to those places, you're bound to meet up with other people who are doing the same thing. So you've got to be careful, especially if you're cycling, you breathe, your respiratory system is going, working overtime. So you're going to breathe in someone else's um, lung, you know, contents essentially, which might include COVID-19. Uh, remember, you can't actually uh, tell if someone caught it uh, or got it until two weeks uh, later. So you never know. You never know. So just be careful. Be wary. Yeah. yeah. Be <laughs> Yeah. All, All right. right. Andy, what are your plans for your gym once COVID-19 CMCO is over? Uh, when, when the government lets the gyms open, what are you going to do first? All right. Um, like uh, just now, uh, Peter did ask me about uh, what I'm doing right now, which is the online platform. So right after, I will still continue the online platform where I think that will be the next future uh, program, I mean, a future thing. 
So for the gym itself, um, I mean, it's going to be very tough, lah, to be honest. Because now, right now, uh, government have approved, but it's not indoor. So what we can do is only do outdoors. I have started like uh, some personal training, okay? But uh, it's in a proper guided SOP. Lah. So, but we're still doing it outdoor. Okay, we have a, a small space outdoor there. So we can actually still run the classes. But to be honest, right, to how to completely run the gym like normal pre-COVID, you're going to take some thinking, some thinking work. I'm still not sure how we're going to do it because I do believe like people are still afraid of uh, coming to the gym, you know, that the fear is still there immediately. So, yeah. It's true. I, I before before the uh, uh, MCO was announced, uh, I I stopped going to Jiu Jitsu for about a, a week or two beforehand. Um, just you know, in anticipation, it's it's very close contact, and I do see there's a risk there. But if people get tested and they don't have the disease, I see there's potentially a way for people to do close com combat sports mentally. Then it won't also weigh on the people going to the gyms but also as someone who runs a gym as well uh to a degree like uh Wuji, um yeah we're, we're not opening the classes up right now um we're gonna have to wait and see what the government allows us to do and what we're not gonna be able to do um uh, reduce the size of the classes but also naturally because people will be more conservative with their money during this time people can't afford to do the classes, it is it's going to be you know it's going to be tricky. There will naturally be less people in the classes, so it'll be more like a private class but indoor. Yeah. So, yeah. as you're saying, online classes, I think they're potentially the way to go, and also private uh, one 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 to fifteen classes with distance spacing yeah. between. Small so, class, right, small running. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I do see that some people have been started they're doing like uh, those kind of uh, circuit functional training. So yeah. it's like not compressed. Everybody is not, you know, in the distance. So I think yeah. that might be another thing to, to look into, you know, yes. circuit training. Like those kind of training I'm doing just now, I think I can do it anytime. With a group of like small group, like 10 or 15. Yes. Yeah. It's fine. It works. And uh, it can be done safely. Yeah, I, I agree with you. So that's great. All right. Well, we've reached the one hour and five minute going on to six minute mark. So uh, I think it's time for us to say thank you very much to Mr. Andy Tay. Uh, thank you very much for the IIT class. Uh, thanks for answering the questions. And uh, Arena is back. Thank so thank you so hello. much class today actually i thought it was quite interesting um because you guys are saying that some uh those are like pretty normal right but i thought it was i have never seen some of the variation like the sit up i like the sit up one the one where you do you but, do it yeah, triangle yeah actually I, feel, I was trying to but the problem is i feel like i just want to ask also um in terms of coordination because i'm really bad with coordination i always find that if i go to these kind of classes i always can't keep up because like it took me a while to switch just now like doing the right side i was fine then i'm like oh no it's hard to switch to the other yeah, yeah. coordination is one thing that you yeah obviously you have to really look into but obviously like when we do it live i don't know who are the audience and then sometimes like i cannot just come to intensity where it's like it's too hard or it's too easy so yeah. I have to be in a great kind of thing. So those who can catch up with me will be good. Like just now you mentioned about coordination. Just now that kind of uh, movements, um, yeah, it's, it's all about practice. Lah. The more you practice, and then you're just going to get, get used to it, right? Yeah. But do a normal sit-up. Actually, the same thing, you know, is the, 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 the result that you're going to get is exactly the same like you're doing a normal sit-up. It's just that I make it in a funnel way that, oh, I incorporate yeah. MMA movement. That's it. Yeah, yeah, it's actually more fun, yeah, more interesting than the usual. Because sometimes, whenever you are, because we are all used to like you know sit up and burpees, the usual one, it kind of gets boring after a while. Yeah, yeah. You've done it a thousand times, yeah. <laughs> then you go to a real class, um, then you'll see that the teacher can come around, and physically correct you, uh, mm. or or give you tips on point. And as as Andy said. If you're on a video and you're doing the workout, you can't see your audience. You don't yeah. know what they're doing and you can't really check the comments either. And people are too busy trying to do the workout to uh, type comments in. So, yeah, it, it's tricky, but it's, it's the yeah. sort of thing that you have to do. So you have to do separate mm -hmm. classes, beginner, advanced and, and pro. Um, yeah. Or just do 
mini private classes for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for the workout and the class. Um. So everything is pre-recorded, so I'm sure people can like you know watch it again and redo the workout. So thank you so much, Andy, and thank you, Ida, for thank hosting. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 I'm really sweaty now. Look at that. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just bring it out. Yeah, I don't okay. Know. I use it. <laughs> I do that quite often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, bye guys. Bye. Okay, guys. So we hope that you have enjoyed that forty-five minute MMA heat workout. It is definitely very interesting. Just a little bit, you know. If you're sick of like the usual workout that you've been doing, then that'll be a good variety, a variation to try. So, and also, of course, if you're interested, once. Um, everything is settled and um, the gym is open. You can check out um, Andy's uh, Fitness Academy. It's called uh, Elite MMA Fitness Academy. We will leave the link um, in, in YouTube and also in Facebook so you can check it out. Um, yes, so that's all for 5 p.m. session. Um, next up at 8 p.m., we're going to have um, two beauty queens, actually. So we're going to have Alexis Su Anne and Chloe Chen hosting the session. Um, so uh, uh, Alexis is going to be talking about, you know, what goes um, behind closed doors in beauty prepara uh, beauty pageant preparation. Um, also, she's going to share her secrets and her tips to her beauty and uh, skincare routine. Um, and also, of course, about um, a cause that is really close to her heart, about baby dumping so it's going to be a little bit of um awareness on, in that matter so uh, make sure you join us stay tuned and see you at 8 p.m <laughs>